All right, so just want to show you a quick demo of a game that I wrote. It's called AppleSoft Action, and it is an action game written in AppleSoft, as you probably guessed. This is actually the first AppleSoft game I've ever written. Uh, it's something I've wanted to do for a while now. This one took about four nights to complete. It was actually a lot of fun, just kind of relearning basic skills and that sort of thing. But let me go ahead and show you what it looks like so far. Definitely a work in progress. And it's really not even an action game. It's more like a puzzle game, but I think it's better if you just see it for yourself. So you play as a blue square. You can move left, right, up, and down. Yeah, if I didn't put down in there, that would just be cruel. So you're stuck in this room, and the only way out is through that door. Yes, that white square is a door. You're definitely going to need your imagination to be in overdrive for this game. So you just go ahead and pass through it, and you're on to the next room. Now in case you're wondering, that pesky magenta colored square is your nemesis, and he's going to try to prevent you from going through the door. And each level, he'll get progressively harder, he'll get faster, he'll get more clever with the ways that he's going to stop you. And it really starts here in the third level where things kind of pick up and the difficulty is definitely apparent. So here he has these wide range beams and your only option is to go directly underneath him if you're above that gray barrier. And once he gives you an opportunity, do not hesitate to take it. Now in the fourth level, it's very similar to the previous one, except that the wide range beam is going to go much further down the screen. And so if you're below the blocker, you'd have to retreat a little bit back. But same concept. You want to go back underneath him, which is easier said than done if you're above that blocker. Wow, I'm surprised that he uh, let me do that, but I'll, I'll take it. All right, so this is the fifth and final level, so obviously it's the most difficult. And so what I've done here is I've made it so that there's going to be a blocker that prevents you from retreating. So if you're above the blocker, you have no choice but to go directly underneath him. And this is sad. I, I must have played this game like 30 or 40 times. I mean, I programmed the dang thing, right? And uh, it's still challenging for me, so that just says a lot. Probably about how badly designed it was. But um, I'll go ahead and just say it's a challenging game. All right, the end. Congratulations, you beat the game. And this is actually the generic ending. I actually have a much better cutscene type of ending if you beat it flawlessly without losing a man. So I'll go ahead and put a download link in case you want to try this thing out. It should definitely be played on an Apple 2GS or 2GS emulator rather than on an Apple II, just because at 1 megahertz this thing is really sluggish and so it's almost unplayable. So anyways, thanks for watching and hope you try it out.